It's the 9th of July 2014 and it's a big day for Estonia. Mr. Morel, a head of European Space Agency's industrial, uh, legal and procurement uh, department. Um, based on your experience, uh, what you saw today here, the ministerial uh, meetings and uh, also during past six years, uh, during Estonian um, cooperation period, what chances Estonia has to become a successful member of the European Space Agency and what our industry and academia should focus on? Well, the, uh, in fact the story between uh, ESA and Estonia is not a young story, it is a story of seven years old. Uh, Estonia today is uh, one of the European cooperating states. Uh, we are placing contracts in Estonia. You are contributing uh, already uh, to ESA. So the day uh, of today was an important one because we have received uh, a letter from uh, your minister uh, proposing uh, to uh, join uh, the agency as a full member, uh, like uh, the 20 member states we have already, to become the 21st uh, member states uh, uh, of ESA. This is a major step a major step uh, for your country, a major step for industry, for the academia and also an important step uh, for the agency because uh, you will be uh, the first of the Baptist states uh, joining, uh, joining ESA. Uh, what, what is at stake? At stake, if you want to become a full a member of ESA, you have a contribution to the mandatory activities of ESA, uh, which is basically the, the very famous scientific program of ESA, and uh, you have also the possibility to participate, like all the other member states, to all the optional programs of ESA. Optional programs of ESA are very broad in terms of subject and in terms of activities. They cover Earth observation, where you have a number of Earth observation satellites, meteorology. Uh, they also uh, do cover operational Earth observation satellites, telecommunication satellites, more in public-private partnership uh, with industry. Uh, activities uh, also in the domain of uh, launchers, uh, in the domain of uh, human spaceflight. There is a and telecommunication. There is a great variety of potential activities. Of course, among all those, uh, the Estonian government will have to make choices. We'll have to see where to concentrate uh, your participation, where to concentrate your contribution, and therefore where to concentrate the industrial participation uh, in the agency. One of the key for the success are the seven years of association you already had. During those years, a certain number of activities have been identified, successes have been realized and therefore I think that should be the starting point uh, of, your, of your reflections. Uh, with the discussion we had today, I think that um, the priorities will certainly be in the domains of the service. Using space data, using all the data generated by the satellite, combining them with other data obtained through wrong means uh, in order to be able to offer better services, better uh, tools, uh, being it uh, to municipalities, to governments or to private companies or even in some cases to citizens. Uh, that is certainly a domain where already today you have an excellence in, in Estonia and on which uh, you, you will have uh, to build. Uh, during the, the preparatory period, we have also uh, worked with you on a certain number of space hardware, uh, in particular in the domain of, uh, of uh, elements for antennas. This is maybe a domain where you could uh, expand the activities. So, what, uh, what I could say at this stage is that what will be important for Estonia is to determine priorities and to build your own future. In ESA, you are becoming, you will become a full member of the agency with a full voice and a possibility to find your way and to find where you want to put your priorities. ESA has uh, more than 10 optional programs. Yes. Uh, um, 
what do you recommend for a, for a newcomer, especially a little smaller newcomer than than an average uh, sized European um, country, to start with, in the meaning that uh, how we should choose those programs to be participated in? Like, how would our scientists and uh, industry be? integrated into those existing programs, but, but we should follow. Would there be any uh, advice? So at the end, the decision will be the decision of Estonia. Your authorities will have to decide. ESA can only make suggestions, but the decision will be yours. That is really important. In ESA, you are never forced to do things. And this is why we speak about optional approval. This is an option, it's your choice. But when you look at uh, what has been done uh, during the previous years and also about the capacities you have uh, in, this, uh, in this country, myself I think that uh, it is more in the field of applications. For example, a program like uh, uh, we have a, a program called Integrated Application Program. That mainly is a program where you can certainly uh, find uh, interesting, interesting possibilities. Uh, you have uh, also programs in the field of technology where you could, uh, as an entry point, start by technology program, develop technology and then go a step further. I think important point is to build on what you have already, build on your excellence. That is, the, that is for me the key message. Before to, uh, to embark in, uh, in very ambitious space hardware, uh, that uh, will have to come one day because you will participate to the scientific program. So we will have to bring you in the scientific satellite. Uh, but this will take some time. But I think the, the best uh, way to start rapidly and effectively is certainly to start in the domain of applications. I repeat, using uh, space data in order to offer, being it data from navigation, from telecommunication, from earth observation, from meteorology, using those data to combine and offer better service. You have already, you have already done a certain number of activities related to harbour, related to the Baltic Sea. Uh, those are domains where already you have started and, and therefore those are domains certainly where you can continue. Another uh, important element is that we have 20 member states and uh, I would really encourage uh, Estonian uh, universities, enterprises, uh, research centers to team up with foreigners, team up with the companies, team up with uh, institutes that you know, team up with them and join forces. That is certainly an encouragement uh, and I know already that uh, uh, Estonia is a country extremely open uh, to Europe. You have a number of those relations and also uh, relations uh, with the main uh, space companies would really be an asset. And we will work on that uh, as soon as the accession uh, has been uh, voted by the Estonian Parliament. As soon as this is done, uh, we, will, we will work in this, uh, in this direction to reinforce uh, the links you have uh, inside, uh, inside of uh, the European space community. Mm -hmm. Next time, European space uh, agencies delegation uh, will will come here is about in September. Yes, uh, where your experts are about yes. to um, assess um, Estonian. We will, uh, we will visit and we will assess the capacities existing in uh, a number of uh, companies and institutes and uh, we will spend here uh, three days doing that uh, in September, uh, a certain number of visits and a certain number of uh, encounters uh, in order to assess better what are the capacities uh, that uh, we can find beyond those that we know, the one we have used for the PEX. Uh, they, are, uh, they are also capacities that will be beyond that and we will use this occasion in September. Mm -hmm. I think that will be a good and important moment where uh, your industries uh, will be able to show to us what they can do, what they can deliver, and how committed they are. Mm -hmm. And with the speaking about the potential timeline, uh, what do you think um, in, um, in best scenario, uh, when our industry and academia would be able to actually take part of those uh, ESA programs? 
The best scenario we have discussed today is an accession early 2015. If early 2015 we have an accession, then uh, ESA will open uh, the doors uh, to, to Estonia from that time. So I hope that uh, we'll be able already in 2015 to show uh, to your industry what are the benefits for Estonia to join ESA.